सो हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर थर्मोडाइनमिक्स अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन ऑफ द थर्मोडाइनमिक्स विच वॉज आस्ड इन योर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फॉर वन मार्क्स ओके वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ टेकिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आर ऑलरेडी आस्ड ऑन दिस कंसेप्ट इन योर प्रीवियस ईयर गेट पेपर ओके सो इसके अंदर दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड योर एंटायर सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इज बेस्ड ऑन द एंट्रोपी कंसेप्ट एंड एंट्रोपी कंसेप्ट आर बेस्ड ऑन द टू टी डी एस इक्वेशन ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बट इन डायरेक्टली आई एम ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट सो मेनी क्वेश्चन ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर विच वॉज ऑलरेडी आस्ड इन द गेट एग्जाम बेस्ड ऑन दिस टू टी डी एस इक्वेशन सो प्लीज ट्राई टू लिसन प्रॉपरली okay so now the question is for an ideal gas a constant pressure line and a constant volume line intersect at a point in a temperature versus a specific entropy cp is the specific heat at constant pressure cv is the specific heat at constant volume the ratio of slope of constant pressure and constant volume line at the point of intersection is so actually there are two equations that is tds okay is equal to du plus pdv okay and the second equation is tds is equal to dh minus vdp your all numerical problems of this chapter are based on these two tds equation jitne bhi numericals hain all the derivations all the numericals all the mcqs okay numerical answer types all questions are based on these two equations only we know that internal energy is a function of temperature for ideal gas and enthalpy is a function of temperature for ideal gas so in the question if temperature and volume are given then you can use this equation for to find out the value of entropy change and if the value of temperature and pressure are given then you can use this equation for finding out the temperature and pressure okay by using this concept you can find out the value of entropy change okay now in this question cp is the specific heat at constant pressure and cv is the specific heat at constant volume so constant volume so it means the change in volume is equal to zero so tds is equal to du internal energy is a function of temperature okay is a function of temperature for ideal gas so from this you will get the slope value for constant volume is t upon cv okay now for the constant pressure process the change in pressure is equal to zero so tds is equal to dh so tds is equal to okay tds tds is equal to enthalpy is a function of temperature for ideal gas for real gas enthalpy is a function of temperature and pressure for real gas internal energy is a function of temperature and volume okay but for ideal gas enthalpy is a function of temperature and internal energy is a function of temperature okay so dt by ds for constant pressure is equal to t by cp now we have to find out the slope of the constant pressure and constant volume line so constant pressure upon constant volume line so t upon cp divided by t upon cv okay so it means according to the requirement it will come out at cv by cp so the answer is option d okay answer is option number d okay so the purpose of this question is ki indirectly you are able to revise your all concept of second law of thermodynamics all the numericals which are based on these concept so if temperature and volume are given okay so generally you have seen this equation s2 minus s1 is is equal to cv log t2 by t1 okay plus r log v2 by v1 okay so many times number of questions are asked in gate gate uh, previous year gate exam and s2 minus s1 is equal to cp log t2 by t1 minus r log p2 by p1 okay so if temperature and volume are given use this if temperature and pressure are, are given then use this cv cp r standard value cp value is 1.005 cv 0.718 r 0.278 kilo joule per kg kelvin that is the standard value for the air okay so the answer for this question is option d thank you